Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. You've probably seen this bending pencil trick before. It occurs because of refraction, or the bending of light. Exactly what causes this refraction? Well, a really good way to, to investigate this is to use a simple handheld laser and some cloudy water. So let's get our laser and some cloudy water and give that a try. So here we have our cloudy water with a little bit of coloring added and a laser beam. Now you can see the laser light travels in a straight line until we go above the surface of the water. Then the laser light bends quite significantly. Why is that occurring? Well, it's because of refraction. What's, in, what's really important here is that there's a big density difference between air and water. Now as the light ray travels from air to water, at an angle, the light ray bends. And this is really clearly shown in our example. As we go from, from the water to above the water, we see a drastic change in direction as the light bends. Another great way to illustrate the bending of light is to use a shallow container such as a pie plate or the cut off bottom of a styrofoam cup and a simple penny. Just place the penny on the inside edge of the uh, container and then put it on the counter and position your head so that the penny just goes out of view. Then take water and fill the container and to your surprise, or maybe not, the penny will come into view just by adding water. Why does this work? How does the bending of light explain this? Well, a great way to explain this is to use a single beam of light with a plastic block. That's what we have set up right here. What we'll do is we'll just twist the plastic block and we'll see that the light beam actually twists. It bends as it travels from the air into the plastic block. Why does that occur? Well, it's because of refraction. At the point where the light enters the plastic, there is a density change. And if the light hits that density change at an angle, the light bends. And you can see it again when the density changes once again, when the plastic and air meet, where the light leaves the plastic into the air. We get refraction once again. Now what's really cool is we can apply the concept of refraction to a series of parallel light beams. Now if we take a convex lens, which is curved, notice that as we place it in the path of the light beams, each of the light beams bends different amounts, depending on the curvature of the lens where the light beam strikes. You get the most amount of bending of the light where there's the greatest amount of curvature, or where the light beam hits at the greatest angle. Again, watch the convex lens being placed into the beams of light, and you will see the light beams bend. And that's because the light's striking a different density medium at an angle. This works equally as well with a concave lens. The whole point being is that refraction or the bending of light occurs when a light ray hits a different density medium at an angle. And refraction beautifully explains our earlier penny demonstration. If we take this orange barrier and place it in between the penny and the eye, it blocks the light rays and the eye can't see the penny. But if we take this block representing the water and place it so that the penny is underwater, well now the light rays are bent as they leave the water, allowing the eye to see the penny, all because of the light rays being bent. Thanks very much for viewing this Science Man digital lesson. 